I'm really supporting the shack. Uh, I, I am in awe of people who stand at the front line of some pretty gritty support and care for people. I don't do the work they do, but I can stand behind and, and provide assistance and help and also spread the word because they need our help so they can do the work that they're doing to help the homeless. Hello, hey Nick. Hey, you got him out. Hey, Dwayne. Hi, guys. How you doing? Now, this is a really cool story. See these two here. Now, I know that we're, um, I don't want to embarrass them, but they almost met at the shack. Almost, it was almost. Not quite, but almost. And uh, they get married in November. Oh, wow. Yeah, which is exciting. And I get the, I get the privilege of doing it. Okay. I'm aware, well, yes, exactly right, which is really exciting. I just want to say it's really overwhelming to see how many here are so early, so thank you so much. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Well done. Good stuff. But really today is not about a fundraiser for us. It's about an awareness. It's about an awareness that within our beautiful communities that we all come from, and particularly of our community of Nambour, we do have, a, we do have an issue here in the way of homelessness. We, we make a, a sort of a black comedy about it, but our youngest actual homeless guy has been eight. Uh, the one that we've directly come in contact with. We've had younger, but it's usually been in a family unit. But this, he was on his own. He was on his own. And the oldest we've had has been 82. But, you know, it's sort of tears at your heartstrings. I mean, he should be somebody's granddad, you know, and things like that. So we have circumstances like that where homelessness doesn't discriminate. It's not age discriminative certainly not ethically discriminative and it's um, it doesn't matter where you're at we're all living on that precipice you know Most of the money that we raise from the day or in the profits will be going straight into that combi van to complete the fit out. Uh, that will now become a mobile soup kitchen for the homeless. Just you guys being here today uh, gives those guys a strong voice. You know, when we've got our politicians, we've got our services, and there's a lot of services here today. And to you guys, I'd probably get around and say thank you throughout the time. So here we go, we're going to do our countdown for 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Hello everyone, let's do this. The Shack is just one of the uh, great places where people are out there helping the homeless, trying to make a difference, breaking the cycle of poverty and I'd certainly urge everyone to get behind uh, these guys and, and gals. Look, they do the job that others can't do. They, it's about putting in the hands of the helpers the, uh, the resources, the food, the financial support that can make a difference. And they really do make a difference to the lives of some of our most vulnerable in the community.